Hi, welcome back to LaTeX. Today we're gonna to look at MLA formats. So let's go ahead and get started. You'll find this is a really easy format to use and LaTeX is built for it. So let's get started. Okay, go ahead and open up Tech Studio. We're gonna be working in Tech Studio today. If you want to use your own personal text editor or something else, feel free. We're actually not using any of those special features that you see at the top of the screen there. We're just using this as our default area where we're gonna create LaTeX documents. So first thing we're gonna do is type document class. So we'll get started right off the top. So at, at the new document here, we're gonna go ahead and open document class. In this case, we're gonna use 12 point letter paper and we're gonna be writing an article. Now, if you're using A4 or you're doing this somewhere else, then go ahead and not use letter paper, but I think MLA is for letter paper. So let's go ahead and use a couple of packages. So we're gonna use a package and the package we're gonna use is if PDF and we're going to use a package called MLA. So by typing that little package there, the use package MLA, that allows us to go ahead and use the MLA package and all the features in there. Now I do have my little set that I like to put in there. Uh, in this case, I'm including Lipsum, that Lorem Ipsum, so I can go ahead and uh, throw some, some text inside the document. Now let's look at what MLA does for us. Remember in the, if you looked at the APA format, we had a whole bunch of stuff that we had to put into the preamble. With the MLA format, it's actually all encapsulated pretty much in one begin MLA statement. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and type backslash begin and we're gonna do MLA right there. Now once we do the MLA, the way that works is you do your first name, then you do your last name. Yes, first name, last name, the teacher name, I think teacher name. Here, I'll just make that teacher name, one word. Uh, then it's gonna be the course teacher, then course. And then you have your today, I think. Let's put that in braces. Put it in braces like that. And then we will uh, put our title in there. So whatever the title is. I think that's right. If it's not right, we'll find out when it gives us an error. So we've begun the MLA right there and we're gonna go ahead and throw a lip sum in there and we'll just make it, we'll say there are three paragraphs, done. So we'll have three paragraphs in there and then we'll do the work cited. So in fact, let's just see if this works right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and end MLA right there just to see if this works. So let's go ahead and press that and we'll see what we've got. <clears throat> See where we got an error here. So it doesn't like the MLA at all. It's like, what is MLA? What are you talking about? This MLA stuff. I, I don't know what that is. So let's look at this. We got begin document. And I do not have a begin document. Uh, very good. For those of you who are looking and you said, hey, you don't have a begin document. You're absolutely right. I don't have a begin document on there. So there's begin document. And let's go over here. And if we're going to begin it, we're going to need to end it. So end the document and it's gonna be lowercase. Now, there is a, a difference with the fancy, you know, so I'm using fancy verb here for verbatim instead of just the regular verbatim. Um, if you use fancy verbatim, whenever you do anything where begin, let's say verbatim, you have to use a capital V. That's a capital V as in Victor for the verbatim instead of a lowercase v. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, um, we got this, let's try to build it, see what we got. And that looks pretty much right. I don't think we need this dash here. Click, get rid of that. And that looks like that is in MLA format. Let's see, you got the last name up here with your page, your first name, last name, teacher name, the course, the date, the title, and then proper indentation in the paragraph. And that looks like it, there you go. There's MLA and that's all it took. So what you're gonna do here, all of this, everything right here, all of that is the same every time you have a paper with the same teacher in the same course. So that's all the same. Of course, the lip sum, you don't need that because that's just 
there to take up some space. Um, and then let's go ahead and look at works cited because in uh, MLA format, it's called works cited. So let's go over here and say begin and we're gonna go works cited. Keeping up with the different styles is, is a bit difficult. Bivent. I think I need to go through and, well, let's just try it. So begin works cited, we'll do that. And uh, what we have is for the author, we have last name, comma, first name. And notice I am not using the references file on this. I'm just going through and, uh, and typing each of these in. Now for this, I have to use the two back ticks. So those are grave marks or that reverse apostrophe sign next to the number one key on your keyboard if you're using a standard layout, the standard US layout. If you're using the Arabic or another layout, I believe it's on the left-hand side of the keyboard towards the bottom, and you'll have to do that. So that right there, and uh, this is the paper title, like that, period. Close it with a double quote like that. Then we need to do text in, ita in um, italics, like that. And that's gonna be the, the book title, whatever the, the book title is, <clears throat> if you got a book. And then you'll need a publication date, like that, period. And I think that's gonna be the end of Works Cited. If I can find the right key, and then we'll end, end Works Cited. We will end MLA, and we'll end the document. I gotta get rid of this one right here. Can't have a double end. And now let's go ahead and compile that and see what happens. Okay, so nothing changed over here, which it should not have. Let's scroll down. And there we have, we have our work cited with the fancy quotes, as you'll hear them called. And that's it. For anything that you need to do with work cited, um, Normally, your your papers probably in the uh, the high school or or part of your college level, you're going to be able to just type these out yourself, or you can uh, you can copy these in and do it that way. If you are copying some stuff in, that's where we have uh, verbatim coming in into play. I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to say begin uh, verbatim, and. With that begin verbatim, I'm just going to give an example here. I'm going to copy this over, and we're going to see the kind of how it's different if I'm using verbatim in here. So if you see that, you can see how that comes out differently than it does uh, whenever you're doing the document itself and you're actually using LaTeX formatting. Verbatim is where you want to copy text and you want to put that right in there, just the way it looks. Now, the advantage in, in fancy verbatim is you can make it uh, you can make it small. You can change some options with it and, and things like that. We're not going to worry about that right now, but I just wanted to give you an example. That's with a capital V verbatim, and that's for a works cited where we are doing the works cited ourselves, and we're going to type that in without using a bibtech file. For those of you thinking, oh my goodness, that is insanely easy. Yeah, MLA format is, it's pretty easy. Now, if you still wanna cite something, you can still go in and, and cite something here. And I'll just put some additional text, additional text, and then we'll just do the cite. And since there's nothing here to cite, we'll just say um, nothing like that, period, right? And we'll go ahead and try to compile that and it will freak out because it will say, uh, and, this is cited, well, I'm not sure what it is. It's nothing. And so we'll have that right there. So you have to watch out for that right there. But that's it. Hope that our, all this has helped. Or if we wanted to cite the uh, last name, we can just cite last name. Um, there you go, we'll cite last name of the author. I want 2018, whatever it is. And uh, we'll go through and do that. And it's like, I still know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, so whenever you're citing, if you're not using the references file, you will need to type the citations without using cite because you are not using 
LaTeX built-in reference option. So you will have to actually type out the citations, which I don't know what that would be. Uh, Thomas, whatever it is, um, 2018, something of that sort. Yeah, that's about, wait, nope, I'm sorry. That's APA format. That's gonna be closer to APA format. Uh, MLA format uses parentheses, and what is it? It is the last name, so the last name of the author, and I don't know, page, uh, last name, page, maybe, page 12. Not, I'm not exactly sure about that, look it up. <laughs> But there you go. If we do that, um, then you'll see we have our citation and the citation does appear correctly inside the document there. So uh, we've got that. We have the work cited. Hope that this helps and I look forward to talking to you again in the future.